Hello, 3D printer peeps. I am very happy to be sitting here with a brand new Creality K1 AI camera in the box, ready to install. We are going to walk through the installation and then we are going to run a test print and create our very first time lapse. To get started, we will take our fancy new camera out of the box. The package is sealed via Creality's signature logo sticker. We'll just peel that off and pop the box open. Inside the box, you'll find a little manual and nestled in some very nice packaging as typical for Creality, the AI camera itself. Go ahead and pinch the head of the camera and just slide it out and place it on your table. Do pay attention, underneath the camera hides a little bag with a single screw. Rescue that screw from the box, place it on your table. And here is the K1 AI camera. You might be surprised at how small it is. It does look a lot larger in its pictures. On the lens is a protective film. Go ahead and peel that off after you finish installing the camera. To improve your light and your view and your access, go ahead and remove the lid. The spot that you are looking for is right here. You may notice this one lone abandoned cable. Now you have a use for it. The screw for this camera is an M3. So go ahead and grab an Allen key that fits. This is very tight. Reach inside and open up the latch protecting the cable for the camera. I am going to use an Allen key. Once the cable is free, go ahead and attach it to the camera. It only fits one way. There are little tabs on the top of the connector. They go facing the screen on the camera. It will require very little force. You can use your fingernail to just snap it into place. Holding the camera like this, use your finger and direct the cable above the camera bracket and slide the camera bracket back against the glass so that the L of the bracket is between the glass and the mount. Then, simply wiggle the camera down into place. It will look like this. You will notice there is a little slot that lines up with a little hole. Use your Allen key to install that small screw through that slot into the hole. This is a super tight installation. You will have to find the best way to go about it yourself. It will look like this when it's done. When you are finished, the installation should look like this. Let's go ahead and see how our machine likes it. Turn the printer on and press your settings button. On this screen, you will notice a tab that says camera. Touch that. In there, you may press camera settings and you will see enable time-lapse photography. If it is gray like this, your camera will not function and your K1 will not create time-lapse videos. If it is blue like this, it is turned on and your K1 will create time-lapse videos. Back out and go to AI function. In here, you will see a number of advanced features. You may turn on AI detection. This is basically spaghetti detection. If your print fails and turns to spaghetti, it will detect that failure and stop the print. The next two features require LiDAR, which at the time of this recording is not available for the K1. However, LiDAR is standard on the K1 Max, and you could turn those features on for additional AI camera inspection. Press back, and we are ready to test the camera. Upload it to Creality Cloud and print to the K1 from Creality Cloud. And hopefully when we are done, we will have a test print with a time-lapse video of our doggy sitting here on the bed in the K1. Okay guys, I am here in Creality Cloud and I'm going to go to Upload. I'm going to go to Upload Slices and I'm going to go to Select Files. Navigate to where you have your G-code. Click on it and choose Open. It will then upload the file to Creality Cloud when you press the blue Upload button. And there you have it, the upload is done. On the top left corner will be the most recent one you just uploaded. It will take a moment to render the thumbnail. If you're in a hurry, press the refresh button and that might be good enough. 
and it is. So there is our test dog AI camera, timelapse.gcode, and I'm simply going to press print because Creality Cloud is fairly smart these days. It already knows it was sliced for the K1 printer. Mine is named Spender. I will click on that, indicating I have chosen to send the file to this printer, and I will press print. You can go ahead and press OK, 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 confirming you have nothing else sitting on the printer, etc. And Creality Cloud will send the file to the printer and activate the new AI camera. Here we can see the AI camera is working and I'm getting a really strong feed as we can already see the nozzle is preparing for print. Everything says completed and away we go. Here we can see I am monitoring the print via Creality Cloud on my Windows 11 PC. And here I am in the Creality Cloud app on the phone. I'm going to click into Workbench, and here you will see my printers. You will see that Spender, the K1, is printing. It's at 50%. I clicked into that, and it will activate the camera where I can review the print. Here you'll see all the specifications of the print. I can open it up to full screen if I'd like, or I can go ahead and reduce it back to the default size where I can monitor the rest of the print. I can see the layer that it's printing. I can see the temperature. I can see how much time is left. I can see how much percentage is done. And of course, I can see the print itself. And now that our print is finished, we will simply go ahead and click on our profile right here in the top right corner. You will see your portfolio here. I'm going to click on prints. And in here, you will see our test doggo. It's marked as completed, printed on the K1. And if you look above, you will see time-lapse. Click in there. And here is our completed time-lapse video, all 10 seconds of it. Simply press the download button. And that file is now yours. Let's check it out. As you can see, the time-lapse video and the Creality K1 AI camera are working really well and I'm very happy to have one. If you followed along, hopefully your K1 AI camera is now working as well. And you can go ahead and create awesome time-lapse videos while monitoring your printer from the Creality Cloud app or website. Hey.